Hey everyone, so I decided to try something new and film myself doing my makeup. Um, so don't expect this to be a usual thing. Um, I just wanted to review the new Say What Foundation from Alma Beauty. It's a new brand that I heard about in a magazine. It's owned by a black woman and I'm really, really excited to try it. Um, you can get it online or at Ulta. I used the Shade Match on their website, which gave me the T3W in Honey Honey. Um, but since I have a tan, I went up a shade to T1W in the Bronze Venus, which is like the perfect summer shade for me. So if you can't get to the store, definitely use the Shade Match. Um, and honestly, please just be kind in the comments. Um, I'm not trying to be like a beauty blogger. I just kind of want to represent all of us women out there who have basic makeup skills and help anyone who's starting at square one. So keep your expectations low. I'm not very good at blending and all that jazz. Um, but if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, comment, and if you don't, exit out the same browser that you entered. Hope you guys enjoy. So here I'm just putting a little SPF moisturizer on. Um, I did a patch test with the foundation and it's very matte even though it says it's hydrating. Um, I feel that you can look a little chalky. So if you have dry skin like me, I think that you really need to make sure that you prep your face well. So here I just like to brush my eyebrows in the direction they should go since I have pretty full eyebrows anyway and then I kind of define them a little more with my pencil and then I go over them with brow color. Um, and the key I found is just to be very very light handed and just very short strokes as if you were, um, as if you're just trying to replicate the way your hair is looking. You probably already noticed that I have super dark circles, so I almost always color correct, um, even when I'm doing really simple makeup, just because it works. Um, and I was also really red around my nose area this day, so I just chose to color correct here as well. Um, it wasn't necessary, but why not? Alright, so now I have three concealers, a Fenty concealer and two ColourPop concealers. Um, and I use the brighter one directly under my eye and then I use the other regular um, concealer to kind of make a little triangle. And then I have a ColourPop concealer that's just like a couple shades darker than my skin tone. And I use that to um, basically as kind of like a cream contour just because it's easy to blend for me. And then I buff it all out with my stipple brush. And here I have a damp 
concealer sponge that I'm using to buff out the concealer under my eyes. Um, you might have noticed I let it sit a little bit so that it can get tacky. And I use Real Techniques sponges um, because I think they're awesome and they cost way less than the Beauty Blender. Um, and I kind of go over with my foundation brush just to kind of help blend it in a little bit more. And now I am going over my cream contour with a little bit of a bronzer. Now we're going to put a little banana powder. Um, sometimes I use just like a regular powder because I think banana can be kind of bright, but I wanted to go bright this day. So um, just kind of like push out your creases and then apply the powder wherever you might have some lines. After this, I spritz my whole face. I kind of let it sit and then I just tap it straight down with my uh, damp sponge. I just kind of use like a nice uh, matte finish in my creases. I use a brighter tone on my brow bone, that's what you'll see. I do a little circular motion in the corners with a slightly darker col color to give a definition. Um, and then I use my shimmery colored shades across my lid. Not that great at eyeshadow, but <laughs> I do my best. Still learning. Now when I'm not wearing lashes, which is like 90% of the time, um, I use two mascaras. So I use a lengthening mascara to make my eyelashes a little longer, and then I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is like the only mascara that I trust um, to make them pop. And today I was just being a little colorful and adventurous, which is part of um, Alma Beauty's values, which is why I'm putting a little bit of the the blue under my eyes and then I'm just going in with a regular black eyeliner which is my go-to I feel that it helps me look more defined and older and not as baby faced and there you have it the foundation has a really great coverage it feels light very skin like on your face um, it's just amazing And I realized that I forgot to take the foundation off of my molars there because it always kind of covers it up. There we go. So um, I just realized that I probably should do, I guess, like a wear test. Um, so I've had my makeup on about eight hours or so. Um, and yeah, one thing I can say is that I don't feel as oily as I typically do, so I guess that's the good thing about it being dry. Um, it's not like quite as oily. I do have a little bit of creasing around my smile lines, but I didn't really like set right there. Um, but that's not like a huge thing, like it's not important. Um, but otherwise, I think it looks great. It photographs well. Um, so yeah, so far so good. So that's it. I hope you guys liked it. If you would like to see more, let me know.